So uh, on the PlayStation this week, we have uh, a pr- this is something they did last year that we were big fans of. They have these kind of uh, groups of indie games that are coming out. And then they, they say that if you pre-order these games, then we'll give you 20% off for taking a risk on these games. We got bound during, I bought bound we during did. that. We got and banned. something, there's something else we got. Yeah, too. there was like, maybe it was Oxen Free. I can't remember. Uh, uh, I no, think Abzu. it was Abzu. Abzu, yeah. yeah. Abzu was a part of this last year. And as we know, Abzu turned out really well. Um, so there's some really sort of, you know, popular, uh, ones in in the list here. Um, so let me go over it with you guys. I'm gonna sign you out of your. My, I'm I'm buying. By the way, <laughs> if, you didn't, if you didn't, if you're just joining this for the section that is PSN says, I'm literally buying Reagan versus Gorbachev. If for you Xbox missed the right Xbox now. stuff, there was a game called a, a Reagan versus Gorbachev. He's buying it. Um, so. We'll leave him to do his thing. I'll be um, listening now, I promise. So it's called the Play Collective, uh, which is what it was called uh, before, yes. and it's what it's called now. And so it's Play Collective. It's basically 20% off uh, pre-orders for indie games that are coming out. And there is a list in this instance of six. Um, so we have a game called Everything. Uh, Rain World is the week after. The week after that, we have Parappa the Rapper. That's the remaster of the which old Which I want to play that. I played the, the demo of it's it. Great. Or whatever they call it. Demo or beta, whatever it's called. Yeah, it was a demo. It was a proper okay. demo. Uh, Cosmic Star Heroine. Uh, and that's heroine is in a female hero, not like... Uh, Full Throttle Remastered, which I'm super pumped on. That's a double fine game uh, from back in the day, one of the classics like Day of the Tentacle. And uh, and this is one that I actually recall playing on a PC like when I was fucking double fine seven. Is, uh, double Fine is one of those ones where I'm like, I'm probably going to pick that up because I love that art They're style. They're just a great company. They have cool art style. Um, what's his face? Dave Schaefer. Or Tim Schaefer. Tim Schaefer. Not Dave Schaefer. <laughs> Macaroni and Tim. Steve, uh, so, Steve Butts. And then uh, the last one after that is What Remains of Edith Finch, which we all know has been in development for a while. And uh, we're excited for the release of the I am anyway, because I've heard great things about that. Uh, as far as the bigger uh, ones that are on sale on the PlayStation Store this week, we have Rise of the Tomb Raider, which is $60 down to 30 That's a 50% off for Rise of the Tomb Raider, which took a year to get its way over to the PS4. Mm-hmm. Um so if you have an Xbox, maybe you already played it through. If you haven't, it's a 20th anniversary edition, and it does include the VR section of Lara Croft's uh, mansion, uh, which is I've heard good things about. And then Steep, which you are not such a fan of. So yeah, I played Steep. I played the uh, the closed beta. I had level two gamers all all over the background, and I knew kind of that way if you uploaded, they knew who it was. Yeah. Um, but it was, I I guess I kind of expected like a nice S S. SSX, say that 10 times fast, tricky <laughs> uh, game where there was lots of cool tricks and all this kind of stuff. Like, I, Not I, so I, much. I, I, knew, I knew it was a realistic game, but I wanted it to be have those arcade elements that you love from a snow, snowboarding game, like the insane air, that kind of thing. Like, I guess it's kind of reality. The, the draw of the game essentially is find a route down the mountain and share with your friends, which is cool. But at the same time, I'm like, I don't want to do that really. Like, yeah. There's a wingsuit. There's some other things too, which I, I, I've I've seen some but... interesting clips. I think I feel like they're pushing it a little bit because I've seen it around a lot more they than just, I was expecting They released to. the uh, the Alaska update, which just launched. Yeah, and they did a, like a free weekend recently uh, for that guy. Last um, weekend. Yeah, as, as of recording, uh, it was or like last week. Two weekend. Last and weekend. Um, last weekend. so, yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's one that's worth a look at for, for and that's, and that's again, that's 60 down to 30. Or you can get the gold edition, which is kind of the full edition for uh, 80 down to 48. And then there's a Batman sale this week. It's not everything. Hey. It's, it's weird. No, 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 no. No, 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 Batman. So, um, so there's a Batman sale. It's on Return to Arkham, uh, Arkham Knight Premium, Arkham Knight Regular, or just buy the season pass with it, and Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. Um, so Return to Arkham is down to $32.50. Arkham Knight Premium, uh, 18 bucks. Arkham Knight Standard, 10 Season pass is 10 so you're getting better value for your money buying the premium version there. And then Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham is uh, down to only 6 I believe, uh, when the season and passes only 750. So, um, if you haven't picked up those games, those games are, are pretty cool, very well received. I'm not, I told you earlier, I'm not a Batman fan. So, like this sale, this Batman, it's kind of like, like the Call of Duty sale. Like, I was like, it's it's cool for those who are interested in it. For me, I, I think a lot of people care. that are Batman fans already have those games, yeah. but if you're interested at all, but or this, if you like some of the original Arkham games, was Lego, then you maybe was Lego just, Batman in there? Like, Lego Batman 3 was in there, okay. Yeah. So, that'd be cool. Like, if you have a kid, maybe, yeah, for sure, like, to pick up because you also have to remember too that. 
maybe somebody just got a PS4 for Christmas and mm-hmm. now they're trying to build up the library. It's a great time to kind of they're do all that solid backlog. games. Um, they, they I, if you're gonna play the Arkham them. series, I recommend doing them in order. Yeah, try and do them in order. But, uh, but yeah, great, great little sale there. Uh, stuff goes down pretty low, especially at the the tail end of that. And then, uh, so as far as a few other ones, uh, last couple here, Cal Caladrius Blaze, which is hard to pronounce, but it's Japanese. It's kind of so, like yeah. Tatsumi Takashita Gumba, <laughs> whatever his name was. Tatsuma. Tatsumi. Uh, so Caladrius Blaze is a top-down spaceship bullet hell. Uh, that means that you're going to be a little spaceship floating around with lots and lots of bullets everywhere, and you're trying to avoid What's that? those. What was that game that where they would shoot it from top down in the arcade? Mm-hmm. I think you should know it. There's like Gal- Space Invaders. Galactic- Space Invaders. No, maybe. Galago. Gal- is Galaga the one? Is Galaga the one where you're on the map and you're flying the ship this way? I can way never remember. The, I can never yeah. remember. I don't know. Um, you know so what I mean? That's a big. The reason why I brought this one up though is because it's a big chunk. Actually, it's thirty dollars down to seven fifty. So that's a pretty sizable amount off of that game. So if you like bullet hell games, uh, especially weird ass Japanese ones, then that should be right up your alley. Uh, Party Golf uh, looks great and i think that's one that i might pick up for us to play party golf is an insane eight local uh and this is local multiplayer eight player game uh where you're basically little golf balls and you kind of like choose your angle kind of similar to angry birds i guess where you like choose your arch and everything and then you let go um but it's it's local uh, eight it's, player it's arc. it is also changeable with a mobile device so you can change the settings and the colors and the you know the weather and shit from your phone while you're playing the game the weather and shit yeah uh but there's a ton of settings in there and it looks like a, a lot of fun especially uh to play locally with folks so that one's kind of cool um steam world heist is 15 9 to 6 75 that's a popular indie game and then we mentioned it uh on our last bargain basement uh but velocibox is 1259 to 625 and that was uh, like a velociraptor trapped in a box kind of interesting sure because <laughs> that'd be awesome that's what that is it's schrodinger's velociraptor yeah so um so yeah those are your uh, PSN sales for this week. Um, so the week you of March your... 7th through 14th. Yeah, you got your Play Collective. No, you got 14, your Batman. Sorry, 14th through 21st. March 7th through 14th is go. last week. That is. Uh, and then, uh, so we'll move on now to your your top three new releases for each console uh, that we have. It ain't no game, but they say welcome to the second level. 